guys, welcome back. We are still at our holiday destination here in Agnes Water. And I just want to talk to you quickly uh, in regards to the Tesla Model 3 and other electric vehicles. We all know the Tesla Model 3 has the most advanced and sophisticated battery pack in the car and battery management system software. This is the most advanced we have on the market at the moment. And many people have tried to actually measure the degradation of their battery in a Tesla. Mostly they have fully charged the car and then drove it down on a certain route to 5% and measured the energy taken out of the battery and then extrapolate the full capacity of the battery. Or some have done the opposite, they have just drove the car down to a zero or five percent and then fully charged the car and measured the energy going into the car. Well, both methods are not very accurate, of course. Um, when you charge your car, you've got the charging losses, cable losses, heat losses in the battery, as well as you, if you discharge the car, um, you have other factors in there like weather, temperature, wind, road condition, tires. This is all not the same when you compare it later on to another measurement you do. It's it gives you an indication what may go on in the battery, how much degradation you actually have, but it's certainly not precise, not at all. And we had the same with the Outlander PHEV before we had the watchdog. People were measuring the energy going into the car to charge it or how far they could come, how much energy they have taken out and then extrapolate the data to calculate the full capacity and maybe come up with some sort of degradation factor then. Well, this all changed, of course, when we discovered the PHEV Watchdog app, which could, which could connect to the car's computer directly and read all the numbers and figures precisely from the car. And for the very first time, we could actually read the state of health of the battery, which was known by the car's computer. We all know this is an estimate of the software of the BMS as well, but it's far more precise than when you measure it manually by discharging the car or charging the car again. And then do the same measurement again in a couple of months time and try to, um, yeah, the difference may be your degradation, which is most likely not. So I never liked these methods with charging or discharging the battery and there were too many factors which are unknown, which are changing. It's never the same conditions you do this test in. Well, now in the Tesla, we now have the Tesla Watchdog, a similar app to the PHEV Watchdog. It is called Scan My Tesla. It is from a Norwegian, Norwegian programmer, I think. Yeah, it's a, it's a Norwegian guy who does the programming for this app. It is not as good as the PHEV watchdog, I must say, but still it gives you all the numbers and figures of your car, all the temperatures, the cell voltages, cell temperatures, and also it shows you the state of health of the battery known by the BMS of the car. And I want to show you the state of health of my battery here. You know, the Tesla Model 3 standard range and standard range plus have a battery capacity of 54 kilowatt hours nominal capacity um, of which 2.3 kilowatt hours are not usable. This is the bottom reserve they keep. Uh, so if your car shows zero kilometers battery is totally empty, you still have about 2.3 kilowatt hours of buffer. This is the brick protection of the car. It always keeps this. And after October, November, and I've got the car almost for three months now. And I will show you the battery degradation in the Tesla Model 3 shown by the BMS of the car. And here you can see the nominal full pack which is the state of health of the battery determined by the BMS of your Tesla. And in my case, this is 51.6 kilowatt hours. 
51.6 kilowatt hours of the nominal 54 kilowatt hours when the battery is new. Yeah, so this would mean I have lost 4.4% of capacity already uh, within three months. And I'll show you something else. I, since we are here on holiday, uh, that was the first time I've used the Tesla watchdog. And I've taken some notes in regards to the state of health of the battery. So this was the day after we arrived here. Now this was the day we arrived here and the battery capacity showed 51.8 kilowatt hours. Three days later it went down 0.1 kilowatt hours and two days later yesterday again 0.1 kilowatt hours less. So it, it looks like it's going down fairly quickly actually. Well, we have trusted the state of health in the PHEV watchdog, which read the information directly over the CAN bus from the computer and the PHEV. And the dealerships confirmed these numbers. Mitsubishi confirmed these numbers. Well, in this case here with Tesla, it is actually the same. These numbers are not being calculated by the app. They are just available on the CAN bus and the app just translates the CAN bus into readable numbers for us. It will be interesting to follow this. I will take more notes uh, from now on. So I had a little bit of play with the uh, Tesla Watchdog app. And uh, I will take more data now, uh, state of health, kilometers driven, date, uh, um, charges, how much DC, how much AC charging, all this kind of stuff is shown by the app. So it, it reads out the whole data from the computer here in the Tesla and uh, shows them in a list of numbers and figures in the app. Yeah guys, so far I'll leave this all with you. Let me know what you think about the degradation. We know degradation occurs in batteries and even more when the battery is new. So it will be interesting to see this number over the time. I don't know what to expect. It will be interesting. Okay guys, as always, thanks for watching guys. And we will see us shortly in the next video on our drive back home. I've got a big surprise there for you. Hopefully a positive surprise. <laughs> uh, so stay tuned for the next video. Okay guys, see you then. Bye bye. Stay charged.